Hello YouTube, DJ Aaron here. Today I am going to show you guys how to uh, rip CDs and this can be done with whatever software you want to use, either Windows Media Player, iTunes, or any other uh, bit of software you may get a hold of or uh, like want to use or whatever. Today I use a bit of software called uh, Sony Music Center for PC and as you can tell I've done a little bit of uh, CD ripping so we can now look at what format I use. So the format that I choose to use for this uh, kind of ripping is the free lossless audio codec which is FLAC if you guys are wondering. So you can pretty much um, so you can pretty much uh, rip in any format you want, like MPEG-4, MP3, but pretty much what you're going to end up doing anyways is just flat out ripping flack. So today what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through the process of ripping. So you need a DVD drive or a CD drive or whatever for this step. So I'm throwing a disc into the drive and you won't be able to see that because technically here we go. Alright, so this is being picked up by Grace Note. And this software is powered by Gracenote, just letting you know. So here is the actual uh, album title, which is Best of the End, which has five tracks on it. It's off the album called Beginning, or should I say The Beginning. And we are going to rip it right now. So it says format FLAC 950 kilobytes per second. That does vary from uh, song to song. So depending on how loud the song is or how soft the song is or if it's in mono or stereo or what have you, the bit rate will vary. It will differ uh, depending on uh, how it is mastered and recorded. So we're going to click import and we're going to go ahead and import this CD and it will show up in the Black Eyed Peas folder now depending on like how long it takes uh, you could pretty much be sitting here for at least a couple of minutes or so which is pretty much like how long a, C a CD will take pretty much so we're we've already ripped track one which is boom boom pow so we are ripping I got a feeling now um, so, the track is being ripped. So like I said, depending on how long the song is and how many megabytes it takes up. Okay, so this is 4 minutes and 49 
seconds. So, and the reason why the release date is there, um, pretty sure, yeah, I can change that if I wanted to. Uh, so we'll say 2010. So, so yeah, I could change that if I wanted to, but I just leave it default because the software I use anyways will translate it into the actual year anyhow, so I don't really mess with that stuff. So, so that is why I leave the year alone, and the 1-1 one, one one is just uh, there for kicks and grins. So, so we're almost done with ripping track 5, and... I'll throw in another CD. Now the next CD I I'm going to throw in is uh, Nickelback, which is All the Right Reasons. Track number eight on this CD uh, does not rip. It errors out. So what I'm going to try to do with this one is I am going to uh, deselect track eight and go all the way to track nine. So we're only going to be minus one track on this Nickelback CD. All right, so we're going to pop that in. And like as always, as follows is we're going to get this going here. All right, we got Nickelback, so we're going to go all the way down to track 8. We're going to deselect track 8 because it will not rip anyways because I've already tried uh, on this CD. And the problem with this software sometimes is, there we go. As you could probably tell, the, the only problem with that software, this software is it doesn't scroll up some sometimes. And you have to force it. So we're going to click rip and, or import. Well, importing is the same as ripping. And we are going to let the tracks we have selected rip. So here is the Nickelback folder. Now ripping all the right reasons. So this one's going to take a little bit of time uh, because it is also going at the slowest rate as the uh, best of the end uh, did. So I'm going to pause and while I pause we're going to, I'll come back when this is finishing up. So uh, hang on just a second with the magic of video editing. All right, so, all right. So we just ripped, if everyone cared, that was, okay, so we're almost done. Uh, let's see, yeah, we're almost done. So, uh, like I said, I'd come back when we're about halfway done and let's see, let's check this, 975 kilobytes per second. So yeah, there you go. Um, CD is done. So there's Nickelback minus, uh, Minus the track in question. Well, I want to try something once. I want to try something once here. I want to see if track eight will rip. Um, and and if it doesn't, I'm going to show you guys exactly how 
this happens here. So I'm going to un I'm going to deselect all of these. So we're going to see how good this is here. All right. So I got track eight selected. We're going to see if we can actually rip it. Import. Yes. All right. So we're trying to rip track eight. Let's see if it actually works right here on video. If it doesn't, then it's going to make a liar out of me. What? Did it actually rip? Huh. Interesting. I actually got all the tracks. Interesting. Interesting. Wow. Three minutes. I got all the tracks. Interesting. So with a little bit of patience, you can rip an actual uh, CD track. So there you go. All of Nickelback is ripped. Um, let's see. We're going to do Fleetwood Mac Disc 1. And then I think after this, I'm going to end the video because I don't want to uh, go over uh, very much. I just want to show you how I rip a couple of my CDs in whatever format that I do them and stuff like that so okay here's Fleetwood Mac sections from 25 years of the chain disc one so we can see if we have all the tracks and we do damn software doesn't want to work half the time okay so we're just gonna hit rip and let it fly. So there's Fleetwood Mac. And, and this one's going to uh, take its fast point in its fast time there. All right, so. I'm just going to show you guys how fast this is in ripping, just so you guys are aware of it. All right, we got uh, the fourth track ripped now. track so just letting you guys know I'm just showing you guys this if you guys really want to know how CDs are ripped a lot of people do uh, streaming music now but when it comes to an actual library uh, actual music uh, CDs are the way to go and to rip them is the way to go if you want them done in like high quality format so the chain is now ripping over my head is ripping So depending on how fast your drive is, this is a desktop drive uh, external wise. So this drive is actually ripping over uh, USB 3.0.
uh, yes, USB 3 speeds uh, data transfer. So I am able to uh, rip over uh, USB 3. And so far, it's ripping pretty good. So we just finished that CD in under 10 minutes. So that's, that's pretty good. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you how I rip a compact disc. Peace out. Practice and enjoy. Feel free to uh, leave a comment if you have one, and I will see you all in the next video.